Thank you very much. Our next speaker is Roberta Dalmagro from the University of Milano Bicocca in Italy, and she will talk about enhanced brain targeting of engineered solid lipid nanoparticles. Thanks. Good morning, everybody. The work uh, I'd like to present to you uh, investigates the role of uh, surface fun functionalization of solid lipid nanoparticles in promoting their brain targeting. As you know, uh, due to peculiar properties, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Due to, due, due to the peculiar properties of uh, uh, brain capillary endothelial cells, uh, the blood-brain barrier represents the major obstacle for the treatment of central nervous system disorders. And one of the most promising strategies to overcome the limited uh, blood-brain barrier penetration of diagnostic and therapeutic agents is represented by nanoscale carriers, such as uh, solid lipid nanoparticles, whose surface can be functionalized with ligands able to promote uh, uh, a site-specific targeting. Uh, in this study, uh, we chose as um, the selected blood-brain barrier uh, ligand ApoE monomer, that is a peptide derived from uh, human apolipoprotein E. For the detection, solid lipid nanoparticles were um, radio-labeled or um, loaded with fluorescent dyes. Uh, in vitro, for uh, the evaluation of um, uh, in vitro interaction between solid lipid nanoparticles and uh, cells, uh, we, used, uh, we used as a uh, blood-brain barrier model human cerebral microvascular endothelial cells. As you can see from the left panel, uh, the functionalization of solid lipid nanoparticles with ApoE monomer is related to a higher cellular uptake compared to the unfunctionalized formulation. Moreover, the presence of uh, ApoE monomer um, in strongly increases solid lipid nanoparticles' uh, permeability across our model of barrier. And uh, to evaluate the endothelial permeability of solid lipid nanoparticles, I mean their ability to cross uh, the cell monolayer, uh, we used a transwell system and uh, dual radio-labeled formulation. The use of two tracers uh, lead us to um, evaluate the amount of each radio tracer in the uh, bottom compartment of the transwell system. And uh, we found basical, basically um, equi e equal amount of the both uh, radio tracers. So we can speculate that uh, nanoparticles cross intact the cell monolayer. Starting from these considerations, uh, the biodistribution of solid lipid nanoparticles was evaluated in uh, a mouse model. And uh, in this case, images were acquired using a uh, tomography, uh, fluorescence microscopy tomography system. And uh, solid lipid nanoparticles were loaded with uh, DIR, that is a fluorescent dyes, uh, which has wavelength uh, in the near infrared spectrum. So animals were uh, administered um, through different routes, but as you can see from the last panel, intratracheal administration um, is, um, is related to a, a more efficient delivery of solid lipid nanoparticles in the brain region compared to intraperitoneal and intravenous injections. Moreover, we confirmed the role of ApoE monomer uh, because uh, in presence of surface functionalization, the brain signal of solid lipid nanoparticles is about six-fold higher compared to the unfunctionalized formulation. You can see it uh, in the first graph. And the solid lipid nanoparticles um, are still present in the brain region uh, also 24 hours after the administration. So to conclude, uh, functionalization of solid lipid nanoparticles, uh, functionalized solid lipid nanoparticles are good candidates as drug delivery system for brain targeting. And uh, we demonstrated that intratracheal administration is a promising route also to favor solid lipid nanoparticle translocation and concentration within the brain. Thanks for your attention and uh, I invite you to my poster number 83. <laughs>